Alright guys, it is. it just got done raining and I just got back from completing some errands so I have enough time to give you another product review for you. So, listen carefully because I got another one for you and it's going to be on another Shea Moisture product. It is going to be another product from the Jamaican Black Castor Oil line since I haven't used many of the products in that line. This right here is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Grow and Restore Shampoo. It has shea butter and, all, and um, apple cider vinegar in it. It's for natural hair, chemically processed hair, relaxed hair, bleached and colored hair, and even heat styled hair if you like to straighten your kinks and curls. I found this at a Sally's Beauty Supply, I believe it's... $10.99 or $11.99. I believe I got it for like $10.99. You can also find this, if you're lucky, I believe you can also find this at, um, excuse me, Target. Maybe select Target stores. And I know you can also find this at Ulta Beauty for around the same price, $10.99, $11.99. But I ended up getting this product here from Sally's Beauty Supply a long time ago because, well, I ran out of the African Black Soap Deep Cleansing Shampoo for the bleach bath and whatnot. And on top of that, I ended up seeing this shampoo and I saw that people were raving about it like crazy. So, what the heck, I decided to pick it up. Pick it up and try it out for myself. Now, originally, I got this for my mother since she has thinning, relaxed hair and she mostly likes to wear wigs. So, I thought that this shampoo would be a great product for her. But... If you guys don't know me, I particularly like to get products, test them out first, and if they're good, I would give them to my mother to see if she likes them. But in this case, I specifically picked up the shampoo because it had really good, outstanding reviews, and on top of that, it has one of my favorite ingredients, Jamaican black castor oil. And judging from the color of this stuff, it has a lot of it in it. So I picked it up. And I decided to use it after I pre-treated my hair with the Carol's Daughter Olive Oil Infusion Kit, which, keep in mind, this was like a while ago, okay? Well, I can safely say that this shampoo is actually pretty good. Just one issue, which I will get to in a moment. This shampoo is actually pretty good. It's, a, it's supposed to be a clarifying shampoo that doesn't really strip your hair of moisture. It infuses moisture at the same time, which is sort of ironic since you be quiet I've already fed you sorry guys my stomach um the thing is what I, what I was saying okay this was a clarifying shampoo but at the same time it says that it infuses your hair with moisture which I kind of think is pretty ironic since clarifying in my opinion clarifying shampoos well, to my knowledge, clarifying shampoos strip nearly everything out of your hair. This didn't really do that. I mean, it made my hair very clean, but it, my hair didn't feel stripped. It didn't feel stripped. Now, it definitely clarified my hair, and it, surprisingly, this stuff was very gentle. And if you hadn't noticed, it's really watery. I'm not going to try and pour some out of my hand because I don't want to make a mess. But the consistency is very watery and I've only used like a little bit. Because you get such a big bottle of this, particularly 25% more, a little goes a long way with this stuff. Um, so I used it a couple times. The first time I used it was when I was using the Carol's Daughter Olive Oil Infusion Kit. And after pre-treating my hair for that in an hour, I used this stuff and it worked very, very well. Did not strip my hair and I could almost detangle my hair with this stuff. After a while, the more that I started using this, the more I can't really quite explain it as much. And this brings me to my issue with this shampoo particular, particularly. In fact, this kind of goes for any sulfate shampoo I've tried. The thing with this shampoo is, the more that I started to use it, the first time that I used it, it worked exceptionally well and I was sold. Every other use, every other time that I used this stuff, it just, my hair started to feel, it felt clean, it didn't feel stripped, but it felt somewhat stiff. It, I can't really explain it as much, it just, when I got done rinsing the 
excuse that, you might hear my brother talking in the other room. But the thing is, when I started using this shampoo, it just, it didn't strip my hair. It made it very clean, but it would always leave this weird, stiff feeling into it. I can't really explain it really quite explain it but it would be sort of hard to some parts of my hair would be okay and the other parts of it would be really tangled maybe that's just me with shampoos but I guess because of this issue I have decided to just pour about an ounce into a color applicator bottle and just dilute the shampoo which is what I've been doing with this stuff which is why you haven't seen much of it being used but all in all it's a pretty good shampoo just a moment for me okay all right guys um sorry about that not only did my brother come out of the room but i keep hearing the stumping upstairs above my apartment room so i had to go investigate that turns out somebody is partying upstairs so that probably explains it but anyway getting back to the shampoo here the shampoo is good but the more that i used it the more that it just kind of lost its effect on my hair the more that my hair started getting used to it and then after a while it just became like any other ordinary sulfate free shampoo so i'm not saying that this isn't a bad product i mean if you love it you are more than welcome to try it i mean it's a great shampoo and i mean it's great if you shampoo once or twice a month which is what i do but in terms of it being if i was a shampoo girl and in terms of it being a daily shampoo it's good but i mostly just use it for clarifying if i really wanted to um like i said you can find this at both sally's beauty supply and at ulta's for around the price of 10.99 to 11.99 and if you're lucky you might be able to find it at target too for around the same price but it's a good shampoo I can't really see myself purchasing this again because the other shampoo that I do want to try is the Manuka Honey and the Referral Oil Intensive Hydration Shampoo. I've been wanting to try that for a very long time and I will eventually get to it. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this shampoo. It's good, but after a while my hair started to get used to it and the effects that it had when I first used it a few times just kind of faded. It just felt like any other shampoo to me. So, yeah, that's pretty much my review on it. Pretty much four out of five stars if I had to give it a rating, something around that. Four out of five stars. But this is what it looks like. I'm sure you've probably seen it before. And if you tried the shampoo before, or if you or if another person or a friend of yours tried it before, or even if you have questions about this product itself, let me know in the comments below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. If you enjoy my reviews, a like is always appreciated. Well, a thumbs up is always appreciated. And feel free to share the video, guys. I will be trying to upload another review for you soon. I'm still trying to work things out in the issue of me staying in an apartment and financial stuff. So just kind of bear with me for a bit. It's still a struggle, but like I said, I'm still going to get the reviews out to you, okay? So stay tuned. I will be back and I will see you in the next video. Alright? See ya.